Now, I'm no psychic, but my guess is that you're watching this video for one of two reasons. A, you want to see if I actually know what I'm talking about, and B, you are genuinely trying to figure out best practices for cuffing your pants. In either way, I'm sure you could agree that once you have all the tools in place, it all comes down to personal preference of what you like yourself. I'm not here to tell you what's right or what's wrong. I'm here to give you the tools so you can decide for yourself. So in this video, we're going over three things. First, I'm going to give you some foundational stuff you need before you start experimenting. Second, I'm gonna show you exactly how to cuff your pants with different types of footwear. And lastly, I'm gonna share my personal preferences when it comes to cuffing. Ooh, I'm a pretty man. Ooh, that's that ugly style. Okay, now starting with the foundational stuff. One of the first things you wanna make sure you do before you start cuffing your pants is put on the shoes that you intend on wearing with those pants. And that cuff might be different for different shoes all with the same pant, especially when it comes to jeans. And obviously it comes down to personal preference, but as a rule of thumb, the wider the pant, the wider the cuff should be or the roll, or the slimmer the pant, the slimmer the roll or cuff should be. The first example I wanna show you is the slim cuff. This is my favorite one to use for jeans and chinos because it's very convertible and super easy to do and all you have to do is use the natural hem as a guide fold it up once and then fold it over one more time and that's really all you need you'll be probably about shy of one inch with that and then from there you decide how many more times you want to fold it depending on your footwear so with my lowest sneakers all I gotta do is do that one time and usually that's all I need if the sneakers are a little bit higher I'll cuff it one more time and then if I'm wearing boots usually I need to to cuff it like one more third time and that's the maximum now if you're a really short guy or vertically challenged you might need to go four times but usually three is all you need to do now if you're the type of guy who has an eye for detail then you'll notice that the more times you roll the pen that it gets a little bit more sloppy a little bit more loose and that's fine for a casual look but if you're a person who's really really looking for a crispy line when you're doing it then make sure you iron it at every stage of the cuff so the first one iron it two three make sure you iron it every single Single time and that should hold for the day but if you want to be a no fuss situation especially when it comes to your slacks then you want to get a permanent cuff sewn into your pant now I already made a video guide on how to go to the tailor and what to say when you go there so if you want to check that video I put a link up here and put it down below for you in the description but I do have a pair of slacks here to show you as an example now these are from ASOS these are like my window pane slacks you guys seen these before some of my favorite I have an actual cuff a two inch cuff here on the bottom but if you notice when I try to pull it out it does not come out it is permanently sewn in there so you can get pants like these already like these already came like this from ASOS and I'll link them down below for you now this final one is called the pin roll and it's perfect for a guy that may not have the budget or the patience to go to the tailor and it's a really easy way to really slim up that bottom part of your pants with a fairly quick fix and the first thing you want to do is make sure your pants are completely uncuffed then I want you to grab the inseam there on the inside of your leg and hold it as tight as you like, depending on your preference. And while maintaining the same tightness, you wanna cuff it two times. The first time, you can fold it, maybe pull it a little bit tighter again, and then fold it again, and that will lock in the cuff. And I'll probably provide two different angles of this so you can really see what I'm talking about. But once you get it down after trying it a couple times, it's a really easy way to really slim up your pants without having to have the patience to go to the tailor. And finally, when it comes to my personal preferences, I don't really do pin rolls anymore. I used to more when I was younger and I wore skinny pants all the time, even with sneakers. But if you guys know me now, you know I really don't go much smaller than slim. I go slim, straight leg, and wide leg with my sneakers, but never really skinny. Only time I wear skinny is with my boots. And when it comes to my boots, as far as like my really slim ones, like my harness boots or my dressier boots, I don't do any cuffs. So I make sure to get my pants tailored so they hit my boot right at the right height without cuffing them at all. Or if I wanna go for a more casual look, then I'll just do like a casual roll like I showed you earlier. So before you go, if you absolutely hated this video, make sure to give it a thumbs down. But if you liked it, then gently graze that thumbs up button. And before I get out of here, I'ma go over the sneaker of the day.
Now what we have here is the Low One by Oliver Cabell, and this is actually the lion colorway. So it's like a nice rich brown as you can see. And it's probably the first brown sneaker I've had since I was a kid. I probably had some brown K-Swiss when I was in like middle school, but that's it. I ain't had no brown shoes in a long time. Because I'm a brown person and I feel like I got enough brown going on, but I have a specific outfit that I wanna wear with these. And as you know, if you've been following this channel, I'm getting more into earth tones for this fall winter season so yeah i'm on this vibe and if you want to check them out i'll link them down below for you and if you made it this far and you haven't subbed to this channel yet this is the only place on youtube you're not only going to find smart casual fashion stuff practical lessons like this one but also personal branding and tech focused things meaning i'm gonna teach you how to take better outfit photos how to be more successful on social media all that good stuff it's the best of both worlds so if that sounds good to you make sure you sub here hit that bell icon and i thank you for your time and i will see you on the next one peace